and thank you very much for dropping by quick lesson right here I want to show you guys how to cut a double handkerchief flay okay a lot of people know how to cut this handkerchief flay single but when it comes to double I don't know they just it gets a little confused and today also you know a single handkerchief flay have four edge which is since the material is going to be square um it has to be one two three four okay four edge so the double is going to have eight edges okay and today this is the material i'm going to use okay i already have this already the length of this place is 23 and if i turn it around 23 the whole edges is 23 so right now since this particular one here is 23 i will need another same 23 23 like this for it to be double okay then i have another one here right i'm going to place it okay you know when you place it like this it's going to be square okay because since it's the whole edge is 23 23 that means it's square right so if you fold it into two it become rectangle right it's like rectangle right now so if you fold it again it becomes square okay so now we're going to measure if i measure this place now and i have 12 i still measure here i have the same 12 okay here also is definitely gonna be 12 okay and also this side is going to be 12 so that means it's back to the square shape again so from here now whatever you want the wideness whatever the person waist measurement is okay you're going to measure it so this one now i will measure three remember if they are double you have to reduce your hand if it is single now you have to really shift your hand inside so that by the time you take it round you can get the person waist okay but if it, if it is double you have to reduce your hand so that by the time it goes round by the time the degree go round you can get the double measurement since is double right now so since this one is double i will mark three here you bring the tape here and also mark three okay now there are easy way of doing this i'm just going to put the tape and just mark it round but since this is a lecture i really have to show the easier way to do it then you mark here and also you mark here this is pen you cannot see it, but just follow the formula then three inches you mark it three inches and then this is how you mark it round okay then this is it we have two circle we have two circle from this so this is the anchor chiefly now it's just as simple as this so since it's double you're definitely going to have to divide one side okay you're going to you're going to have to divide one side look at it this is double right now now that you have divide one side you you rejoin here okay you rejoin you're going to rejoin here okay if you rejoin this part now this is how it goes okay this is how we go so i don't know uh i couldn't get the picture of this one that i just finished because once i'm done with it i quickly have to you know dispose it but the picture you see on the screen right now is what single handkerchief flay looks like okay thank you guys very much i do appreciate you guys and if you enjoyed this lesson i want you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you can get the next lesson coming up okay because our professional video is not ready yet but with the little time we have we have to put something like this on the channel like we are playing but you know it's really worth something you know a lot of people might actually relate to what's happening right here and really find it useful so this is it
this is the handkerchief flea you don't touch anything else but if it is normal flea right now you have to curve this place round the same way this place has this circle this whole side need to come round but since it's an handkerchief flea this is how it is okay this is the single kind of fit now this is the single kind of handkerchief flea this is how it goes if it's not divided just like this it has two edge here and two edge here but since it's double now if you finish sewing it there will be a joining in the center front center and then the edge of the flay is going to be eight instead of four okay if you want to cut this flay you want to cut it triple you want to cut it into four you can cut it all you need to do is get enough material to do that thank you very much